And we are live. What's up, everybody? I'm Jay from Leprechaun TV, and you're tuning in to another episode of The Hot Seat. Uh, usually, I have a guest. Uh, we usually interview a guest, and uh, things, have, things have been changing since, since starting work. You guys, a lot of, lot of the regulars know what I'm talking about. Um, so so uh, we're going to do something different here and there. Uh, like last week I cooked, uh, this week I'm going to talk about the none other Blackstone pizza oven conversion kit for your Blackstone 22 inch griddle, which if you look underneath, I have the stainless steel option of the 22 inch griddle. So both brand new, uh, that's what's happening this weekend. Uh, Big Bry from Level Up Cleveland Podcast is coming over, and we're going to get tons of camera angles, uh, the unboxing, assembly, and first cook video shot. It might be one whole video if, if everything goes good. Uh, we'll see how many uh, outtakes we get. Uh, who knows? There might be a blooper reel with that one, too, because I've never used a pizza oven ever. Uh, other than when I worked at Pizza Pan way back in the day, 20 years ago. But uh, yeah, um, so things are things are changing uh, for the hot seat, but we're still here. We're still running strong. Uh, there's 16 million of you guys watching right now. I got John from Salt and Pepper and Fire in the house, Everett Barbecue's in the house. What's up, Joe? Uh, Tom's Food Factory. Cooking with Big Cat 305. What's up, brother? Yeah, I had to, man. Working in the kitchen uh, at the restaurant, man. It gets hot. And uh, long hair just didn't cut it, man. So I, I had to do something about it. Roundhouse, what's up? Eric, uh, 805, what's up, Jorge? And Mojo. Mojo, special shout out to Mojo tonight. Uh, stick around for that. I uh, got Skip from Long Quest in the house. Queen Bee's in the house. Skinner Farms, what's up, Josh? Uh, got Colin in the house. Erin Gobra. That kind of sounded Russian, but it wasn't, believe me. Uh, we got Nicole. Uh, they got their own show. Um, it's on Facebook. Um if any of my mods could if that knows, um, here's what I can do. How about this? I know I'm live somewhere. Make some more mods. How about that? Start dropping some links. That would be cool. I'm not. I'm not about. You know what I mean. You know how I roll. If you got a channel, shout it out. You got a Facebook group, shout it out. Page, whatever, shout it out. We got Brian in the house. Johnny Mags is in the house. What's up, brother? Uh, <laughs> mm, griddle and Vittles with Nick and Jay. There it is. Uh, IG and Facebook. Got to get over here on, uh, got to come to the dark side, come to YouTube, <laughs> join the fam. Uh, cheers to everybody in the chat. Appreciate you. Uh, we just had a sunset. I've been sitting in the sun working on this whole setup. Uh, I'm pretty hot. Sorry. I'm probably looking like I'm glistening. Uh, <laughs> apologize. What's up, Jake? Uh, truth assistant in the house. So I know a lot of people in the chat. Or who's watching out there has uh, already used theirs. I haven't even unboxed mine yet, so uh, that'll be Sunday. Hopefully the weather holds up for me, but it is Cleveland. Uh, we haven't had rain in a, in a week, so we're due for some. But uh, sorry for the background noise. I, I'm hearing fireworks. I don't know if it's the microphone's picking it up. But uh, and I live right by a highway, so you're gonna hear a lot of motorcycles and cars racing up and down the highway. Uh, Cleveland car scene's pretty crazy out there. <laughs> uh, 
Yes. So um, if you follow Nicole and, and Jason on uh, Nick and Jay on uh, on Instagram or Facebook, uh, I think they've been live practically every day. They, I know they went camping. Uh, and, uh, they, they were doing pizzas nonstop. Blackstone Betty's doing pizzas, cooking with Schmidt's doing pizzas. Um, Jess Farron's doing her vegetarian pizzas. Um, who else am I missing here? Um, man, too many people to shout out, <laughs> but, uh, What's up, Ronald Smith? Mm -mm. Wife is going to Disney Sunday, so I'm going to try my oven Sunday. Sweet, sweet. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's Ronnie and Cherry, guys, uh, for a lot of people that don't know. What up, Rick? You know it, baby. For life. Blackstone life. I know you guys probably can't read it uh, from, from way back there, but, uh, yeah, I got my Mike McCourt shirt on, Blackstone Life. Uh, I'm outside, so I'm looking into my garage. This is in front of my garage door, blocked in like this. Uh, I'm underneath my uh, custom-made canopy tent from uh, Gutter P. Uh, they're on Etsy. Let me put that in there. Gutter P. If you Google them, what's up, Shangy girl? Uh, but if you Google them, he'll customize both both these uh, tents. That's only a, a Velcro wall, so I could take that down and I could put up another wall for for anybody that wants to advertise uh their product their name their channel whatever you know what i mean um that's that's how i i, I created mine and then um so I, I got i could get one wall right there my own and i could get another wall right here so i could do two camera angles and you'll see both uh walls it's great for uh tailgating and stuff like that because it blocks the wind uh they're pretty good um yeah pretty good but yeah i can't i can't wait to unbox that thing uh i've had it for over a week now but things were crazy i got my yard all landscaped uh by r and r um good friend of mine leveled my whole backyard because uh, some spots were low and would retain water and I, I have to get a shed so I could uh, maybe do something crazy to, to this garage. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to put money into the garage or save up and get a whole new garage and I could build from scratch. But I definitely need a shed to get some things out. I've accumulated way too much and now I got two more uh griddles uh, griddle and griddle accessory coming to the fam uh can't wait yeah man my my i'm packed in there i got the og so so the og my 36 og where i cooked my uh brisket on uh and ribs is uh front og front grease trap uh that's the table right now for the uh 22 inch tabletop griddle and the uh pizza oven conversion kit <laughs> but yeah man um so what's up kent kent's in the house uh yeah um and, and you know what's great nick about it is you really don't have to cook pizza in the thing it's an oven so now you now you could throw things in there you could get that thing high as you could get it to go um I, I've seen people uh, upwards of 900 degrees. I, I don't know if that was you guys or it might have been you guys. Um, and then you turned it down and got it around, I, I want to say 700, somewhere around in there. Uh, don't quote me on that. But, uh, 
Yeah. What's up, Kyle? Westwind Farms. <laughs> he moved. <laughs> he moved to the other side. Now it's now he's out of West. He gets the West Wind now. What's up, brother? <laughs> uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This was this was uh no, this was right here was the about the spot where I uh I messed up cooking some uh gator gator uh bites. Um the mix got clumpy, the fingers got all clumpy, and yeah, nothing was sticking. It was all bad. Uh, and then this side, I was on this was cooking uh all my Mexican for tacos. Yeah, so I was like bouncing back and forth. Uh range top combo. <laughs> uh West Wind Square Table Degenerates. Uh, what's up? Joey's in the house. <clears throat> yeah, right. <clears throat> 900 degrees. Oh, man, that's going to burn that thing quick. Uh, that, but that that's why I got other ideas I'm, I'm going to do, uh, not just pizza. So we're going to see how this goes. <clears throat> um, just another heat source to me, uh, but we'll see. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Oh, hey. But, uh, yeah, Joey Edibles is in the house. I sent you a pic. Kent, Kent uh, is on his first uh, uh, camping for, for the season. Huh. Whose is that, Kent? Mm -mm -mm. Ain't no way I'm getting timed out tonight. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. But, uh... Yeah, man, it's 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 awesome getting these new new things and trying out new new uh, cooking apparatus. I missed out on the patio oven uh, a lot of years back. I still I still shop marketplace just in case I could find one of those. Uh, Mike McCourt has one. I know that. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on there. That was weird. Let me look at this connection here. Oh, see? I knew somebody else had one. Uh, what's up, bro? But, uh, yeah, I'm getting weird connections. Okay, it's sorry about that. Let me see. I'm on Wi Fi. Dad.
who's still with me. <laughs> totally sorry about that. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Uh, out of nowhere, just boof, gone. I am outside, but I had I had full connection, and all of a sudden it went crazy. Uh, apologies. Uh, man. Dang. That's crazy. What's up, Uncle Steve? Shake. Bumpy's in the house. We actually gained some people. <laughs> That's so funny. Canadian Jim, how you doing tonight? Jimmy Q, what's up? OH. I O. Um, Eric Gilbert's in the house. Uh, thanks for sticking around, guys. Uh, JV's in the house. What's up, Robert? Uh, is Mojo still here? Let, let's start with Mojo. Mojo still here? Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Cheers. For sure. Much love. A Dutch oven. I could cook you a Dutch pizza in the oven. Does that make sense? <laughs> Love you too, brother. We will see each other soon. Soon. Man, you know how we do it, bro. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. What's up, Tom? Yeah, uh... Man, I'm, I'm in shock. Uh, <laughs> is Mojo still here? There he is. Mojo. Shout out to Mojo. Mojo sent me something. So I got a package in the mail. Uh, we were talking. Uh, he's dropped uh, his pizza oven videos. Um go check them out shows you how to make some dough and uh the show you the pizza oven but uh let me show you what he what he got me here oh check this out hold on i gotta we got a pizza pill and rocker cutter set uh, from uh, Satasuk, if that makes, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, a pinch of love in your pizza with our special pizza peel rocker cutter set. Designed with care, improved to perfection. From dough to cheese, we aim to please. Uh, so it's got an assembly just, uh, instructions, contents. Is one 12 by 14 aluminum pizza peel with foldable mold proof rubber wood handle. One rocker uh, rocker style pizza cutter with cover. One aluminum knob and one screw. So I definitely have to assemble this. Which I have no tools out here with me. Uh, so here's the handle. Here's the cutter with the uh, protective sleeve. That's pretty cool. And let me get that back in there. All right. Brand new. Uh, here's a nice, now that's a nice knob. That's a nice knob right there. Uh, we got a card, thank you card. And we got a beautiful peel, man. Wow, look at this. Look at this color. Wow. Beautiful, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, Mojo. Appreciate that. That is so awesome. Um
<laughs> nice knob. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we got that uh, in the mail. So, yeah, man, I'm all ready. Um, Sunday, Sunday's, Sunday's the day. Um, we'll get some, uh, get some dough going. Uh, we got, uh, oh, look who it is. What is up? Got hungry hussy in the house. But yeah, man. Um, so, so before, be, before Mojo sent me that, which was like two days ago and like he overnighted it um two days ago this is what i was going to use as a pizza peel who all remembers this bad puppy <laughs> i'll use this as my launch <laughs> uh this would this would have been it right here <laughs> The only thing is, is I got to tighten this up somehow. So, some way we got to, we got to figure out some kind of safety switch here. Ah, <laughs> uh, this thing. Uh, who remembers this thing? <laughs> Actually, this is what flipped the brisket. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. For sure. I just like that color blue, you know, but uh, yeah, yeah, I see it. it it's silver. Uh, I was just, you know, how they just showing how they uh, protect it during shipping, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Tanner? Tanner's in the house. Uh, East Coast Liquor Reviews. Check him out, man. This guy got some drinks. He got a couple shows. <laughs> Hobo got beat with, with what? One of these? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Scott's in the house. What's up, brother? <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, uh, so so I got that now. Got the griddle. Got the pizza oven. Now to unbox it, put it all together. Um, I know people have already had it and cooked some pizzas, but how about those that hasn't? What would your first pizza be? Sound off right now. What's up, Ski Girly? Secretary's in the house. Uh, she did an awesome job uh, on the thumbnail for those that didn't see it. Mm -mm. <whistles> oh, well. You know what? Mine did too, and it actually came early. Uh, I, th I think they're just putting extra days on it just in case now. You know, uh, pretty crazy. I got I got the griddle way before because that actually came from um, like Camping World. Camping World was the only one that had a 22 inch around me. Pineapple and chorizo, Mexican. Mexican pizza, uh, so you would use some some uh, Mexican uh, cheese. How about that, Jimmy Q? I like that idea, though. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Mm-hmm. Sausage, pepperoni, bananas for Josh. Upside down pizza. Uh, so that would be. Uh, sort of like a deep dish. No, 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 no. Can that use? No, you have to have the 22 inch griddle. It only fits the 22 inch griddle. Yep. 
Yeah, Scott. <clears throat> Scott just got his too, and hasn't had time to uh, play with his either. You know. Saturday the fourteenth. Awesome. Nick, Nick, and Jay. We have a twenty-two inch griddle top and cover, brand new. <clears throat> we didn't know what to do with. You know what? Um, so, so I, I had, I had said, because Mrs. Lepp ordered it. I had told her. I said, because <clears throat> she was texting me all the different models that was available, and uh, a lot of them were the adventure ready. You know what I mean with the stand and the. Um, hood and i'm like you ain't you don't need all that i said i said if it's cheaper to just to get the regular one you know what i mean whatever black stainless steel whatever i said go with that because i don't need no hood i'm not even going to use the griddle ever probably on this thing you know what i mean oh man look at this guy look at this guy cheers to you brother good to see you Uh, you could even put some oysters in there, huh? Put some oysters on a pizza? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I, I just told her, I said, if there's an option not to get that, because I'm I'm definitely not going to use it. I got, a, I got the range top. I got the OG. Uh, I got the um, uh, griddle grill combo. So, I, I don't need it. You know what I mean? Um, unfortunately, I had to order that to get this pizza oven, you know. But is what it is, man. Uh, at, least, at least it came through. I know a lot of us were sitting here uh, talking about when's the next time the pizza oven is going to be out. Um, it's been a lot of years in between. There was a couple... I guess, uh, failed attempts at recreating uh, the patio oven. So they guess they, you know, engineers got together and and created this uh, setup where it's all boxed in. You got the little handle that, so, so it don't rotate. So you got to rotate your pizza. But it has the bigger stone on the top. It's a big square stone on top. And the uh, round one on the bottom. So you get both like evenly uh, distributed heat onto the pizza. Obviously, around the edges, you know what I mean? As long as you keep rotating, you're good, you know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So what's the price on the pizza oven? Yeah, it was uh, somewhere around... 220 227 yeah somewhere around in there um what happened man it, it, i have actually two griddles now so <laughs> anybody looking to buy one i got one <laughs> uh yeah man tis the season right uh our barbecue's starting to pick up too so that's going to be more hours too for me uh, 2.30-ish, yeah, you know what I mean, somewhere on in there um, with tax and all that. But what happened was uh, something happened and it got double ordered. I thought I was coming, I thought I was getting two pizza ovens. Now, that would have been cool because I would have stashed one and used one, you know. But uh, I guess there's still time to buy one, if another one, if I wanted to. But, uh, yeah, yeah, good, good times coming Sunday. Sunday's going to be cool. We're going to do the unboxing, assembly, first cook, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And never know, there might be some blooper reel involved there, you know. But uh, text me, love, Joey has my number. I'm looking for 22. Oh man, bro, you're you're better off looking local. What what that's gonna cost in shipping, uh, Josh? Man, you don't you don't want to do that, man. It's not even worth it, bro. 
Because I'm, it's not like it's coming from the store. Order from the store, and your shipping will be a lot easier. You know, it might be free shipping. You know, but me taking it to the post office or UPS or whatever is gonna to be worth. Shipping is gonna be more than the griddle's worth. Let's just say that. What's up, Dorito? Yeah, man. Who knows? I never made a pizza in my life, so there's definitely going to be a, a blooper reel involved with this, man, for sure. Uh, never know. Drop one, flip one, you know, uh, oblong looking one, a square one, you know, you never know. It's going to be crazy. That's for sure. That's for sure. But uh, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, so it's got the uh, silicone handles. So, so it's easy on the touch. It doesn't burn you. Uh, it's got the temperature gauge at the top there, a uh, little exhaust, and sets right down on 22, which the 22 has two separate burners. So you're going to have two tubes. So it goes up, heats in. But it's a lot of science involved with this thing. Uh, so... I can't wait to try it. I can't. Uh, it's about us, too. I, I think we paid a little under 500 though. I want to say uh, around 460 450 460 somewhere around in there. But, uh, yeah, man. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, sorry. What's up, Gina? Gina's point loader, man. What's up? Mm -mm -mm. Live Sunday. No, 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 no. This is going to be, I have a new camera. I'm going to be using that. Um, uh, big Bry from level up Cleveland podcast is bringing his cameras. We're going to set up all, uh, all different angles. 360 degree angle and we are going to uh put a put together a video of each the unboxing assembly and the first cook so uh should be fun uh just hoping the weather holds up man uh seeing this seeing the uh weather forecast they're, they're talking about showers i don't know how bad it's going to be but I can still do it in here. You know, I, it's not like I can't film. It's just going to be gloomy or sunny. But yeah. Yeah. The air fryer combo, man, that, that thing skyrocketed in price. I wanted to get the one from that um, Mike McCourt has. It's got the LED knobs. It's from Tractor Supply. 36-inch uh, air fryer combo. That thing's badass. But uh, I'm not paying $1,000 for a griddle. Not when I already have a bunch of other ones. <laughs> New, thank you. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see something real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see if I could pull up the website and get the uh, dimensions on that. Oh, I got to go over here first. What up? I miss the I miss what's the ABV? Let's just let's clear the air. I really miss that show. What am I doing? Boy, I'm all over the place. Sorry for the plane if you hear the plane. The plane, the plane.
Yeah, sorry. Just passed us. Man, them planes be. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm-mm-mm. I'm trying to find it. Lep, how about that smoker? Is it a beast? Yes. The that the Southern Pride, uh, that thing's consistent more than Michael Jordan was. <laughs> is, that, is that a good comparison uh, in the barbecue world? Uh, that thing's uh, hitting everything, man. Uh, ribs, brisket, pork shoulder, bone in. Uh, half smoked whole chicken wings, and then we deep fry them, the other half. But uh, smoked meatloaf. I'm going to start throwing some things on there. I'm going to think armadillo eggs, uh, poppers, jalapeno poppers, stuff like that. We'll see how that works out. What's up, Terry? Good to see you, man. I'll see you in a couple weeks, right? There's another plane. So here we are at 938, and they want to choose my path over my house to take off. Sorry about that. Is what it is. Oh, and that that is true, Dorito, because uh, not only is it an outdoor smoker, it can be converted for an indoor smoker. Uh, so it no smoke releases on this thing except out the chimney that is it that is all the smoke this thing is so well built uh heavy duty uh stainless steel uh floor like i could scrape and you know i scrape all the 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 fixings off you know what i mean drain all the fat and and it comes squeaky clean all over again it's all stainless steel uh it has four carriages that have three racks on each uh thing so it it rotates and this thing is so badass badass i'm gonna have to get some video on that uh coming soon we'll, we'll see it's not like i could do it while we're working and it's gonna be have to be on a sunday or monday when we're off you know what i mean for our own pleasure not work related Right. Hey, Nick and Jay, how, how much did you pay for it? Like, that's like my range top combo. I paid, uh, it, it was regular price was three ninety six dollars when it first came out. I caught it on sale at Walmart went right after it first came out for three forty seven. dollars So <laughs> I know what you're talking about <laughs> for sure. Um, but yeah, mm -mm -mm. I had, all right, sorry about that. I, I had sent out a link, uh, to Mojo, see if he wanted to pop up. Uh, yes, yes, it is the, uh, SP, SPX 300 model. So it has the row, you know what I mean? So you got three shelves. So say you want to line that thing up with ribs, man, you could probably put, uh, four racks per tray. So that would be 12, 12 times four, which would be 12 times 4 is uh, 72. 697. Right. That was the going price when it when it first came out. Uh, actually, I've seen it in the 500s at, at some places. Uh, you got to build a bigger porch. <laughs> hey, keeping up the Blackstone game, man. You, you don't need a porch. You need a, a, a barn. 
Let me get a pole barn. <laughs> Drunken Chef Barbecue, what is up? What is up? But yeah, man, it's it's going to be a good time breaking this thing in. Can't wait, man. I, I want to do it now, but I, I want to get a good quality video out there for you guys. Uh, I know I will be live cooking with the thing. Don't don't get me wrong. Uh, there will be a definitely a hot seat, a pizza hot seat, and uh, might get other pizza ovens involved, like uh, have a pizza off. Coming soon. Pizza off on the hot seat. Yeah. Uh, let's go, team. Get on that. <laughs> Love him, <my> guys. <laughs> He's probably going to pop in and give me the finger. <laughs> But that'll be awesome, you know what I mean? Have like a a, a bracket, a uh, little, little pizza bracket, just for fun, you know? Hey, we might be able to come up with a little plaque or trophy or, uh, you know, a slice of pizza or something, you know? <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, but yeah. Yep, yep. Forty-eight, four times twelve. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but wait, no, it's gotta, it's gotta fit more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I guess so. Cause it gets four, he could fit four, um, uh, pork shoulders bone in, but you can't, so you could get eight per tray. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm still learning. Uh, Jorge, I'm still learning, man. Um, one thing the the thing is, is definitely consistent. Day in and day out, it's the same barbecue and uh, great barbecue. I actually had a guy stop today while I was cleaning it and wanted uh, to know if we wanted some cherry wood. And I was like, yeah. I, I didn't know if uh, the owner, Brian, uh, was going to want it or not. He would take apple, he said. Cherry, not so much. So, so I said, I'll take it. He said it's almost a cord. I'm like, all right, I'll take it for sure. For sure. Slice of pie is nice. <laughs> take care. Brush your hair. Bing bong. Bing. <laughs> Those are our new sayings around, around the way. Uh, Ming, you know, Ming, the Italian, uh, who was speaking about Italian, get some Italian in me. Uh, Bumpy, Bumpy was. Yeah, Ming. And then there's uh, Bing Bong. And uh, yeah, <laughs> cheers out there. Okay, Scott, one more joke. Give us one more joke. Come on, one more, please. Uh, Scott's the best at dad jokes. He's got the best dad jokes out there. But uh, I'm wanting to go. Yeah. Um, with work, I'm only able to hit the one on Sunday. So, Terry, uh, <clears throat> hope you're going to be at the one Sunday because that's when I'll see you. And uh, I'll have you some Cleveland ketchup, brother. Uh, here we go. Here's Bumpy. If Lep was a superhero from a comic book, then look forward to a movie about him in 2048. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. What's the difference between jelly and jam? Anybody? Come on, our quick draw McGraws. What's up, David? And here comes another plane. Let's see.
Yeah, that was crazy. Like right over my house. Yeah, there he is. Big Bri showed up. Sunday, baby. Damn. Got a got a pizza peel and a rocker cutter. Bro, it's going down Sunday. We're gonna have so much fun, man. Uh Big Bri isn't uh he, he's for, he's from the cooking. He he gets down. He gets down with the cooking. Oh, we got uh jam is preserved. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, bumpy jelly doesn't include toes. <laughs> oh man, you guys crack me up. But yeah, deer balls are under a buck. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 are correct. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Well, I guess it's about that time. Um, salute, slancha. Um. So I'm going to drop the link. We're going to go off air. Who's down? Mm -mm -mm. Start with a breakfast pizza. You know, I'm, I'm all about the breakfast. I do. I do everything breakfast. Uh, and you're right. That, that's going to be on the menu too. Breakfast pizza. That'll be depending on what time Brian gets over. If he gets over in the morning, we're definitely doing a breakfast pizza first. <laughs> uh, cheers, you guys. Hey, thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. You guys rock. Uh, we'll have to get you on. You guys on the show. I see you're up. So that means you're able to, to be a guest. You let me know. Um, we'll definitely uh, hook you guys up on a date. And... Uh, Oh, look at this guy coming in and clutch at the end. Wow. Ming. CB in the house. Cheers, guys. Hey, Mike, come on in. Come hang out. CB in the house. Ours was at. Hey. I breakfast don't have a a, a a time stamp on it. I get eat it right before I go to bed. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. Appreciate you. But uh whoa 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 whoa. Where was the punch line? Where'd I miss the punchline at? Where's he at? Well, I don't even see you coming. What was the punchline? Well, you got me. I don't know. <laughs> you see, everybody knows. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, hopefully next week. Um, who knows? We're definitely going to have somebody that has used the pizza oven and we're going to compare notes and we're going to have a good time. And, uh, Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate you. Much love. Thank you, Uncle Steve Shake, for the uh, super chat. Uh, we got Mike, Rico Zorro in the house, um, and uh, Colin. He, le he left the donation. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. I love you. I'll see you next week. Wep, you know I love you. 
Peace out, guys. I'll see you guys next week. And we are out of here.